Do you know how Petaluma got its name? It actually is me walking Indian for the other side of the hill, meaning Sonoma Hill, which is not too far from here. It's also the birthplace and the home to some big, heavy hitters. Who are they? Well, I took to the streets of Petaluma to see, do the Petalumans really know their city? Here you go. He was part of all He's three World Series championships with the Giants uh, from 2010 to 2014 and he was born here in Petaluma. Any idea who that might be? Will Clark? No, he's a little Shoot. too old too. Yeah, you're doing well. <sighs> who else is there? He was the manager. I don't know. No. If I told you he was not a player, would that help? If I told you he had a husky voice and was 70, would that help? No. I'm from Israel, so we are, have zero knowledge of baseball. Oh, come on. <laughs> not Willie Mays, is it? No, Willie was not on those teams. He's a little too old. Uh, Buster? No, oh. <laughs> no, that's close. It starts with a B. Try it again. And I know it's not Brandon. Think manager. Not the Brandon. Think manager. Oh, Bruce Bochy. Yes. And, and Amy G. Amy G, okay. I, I got it. My brain just Good slows. knowledge. Yeah. A film that was directed by George Lucas, and it was produced by Francis Ford Coppola. And part of it was filmed here in Petaluma. Any idea what that film is? And not The Godfather? Uh, not The Godfather, no. Um, here in Petaluma. I feel like, no. I never wanted this for you. Not American Graffiti. Uh, well, is that your final answer? Or Peggy Sue Got Married. Uh, that doesn't sound like George Lucas. <laughs> big, big hit back in the uh, early 70s. What was that? American, American graffiti. graffiti. Yeah, everyone knows that. The, the parking lot where the car axle was tied to a the cop car to a cop car was just the other side of that wall. A gal that graduated from Petaluma High in 1989, Academy Award nominee, and another guy that was a huge actor in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, has two sons that turned into big movie stars as well. He graduated 1930. Any idea who they may be? I had the name, but it sort of Take just, a step. just left. Just go. Um, Lucas? George Lucas? George <clears throat> Lucas, yeah. Maybe? Like, he's a director. Okay. So. Oh, what's her name? Winona Ryder? Yes. 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 The First one, oh. The only one that I could think of it would be the female who did Peggy Sue Got Married, but that's the only one I could think of. And who was that? Uh, Her initials are WR. Winona Ryder, ring a bell? The, oh my God, of course. I did, she grew up here. She grew up here. What? I'm what? obsessed with her. I didn't know she grew up here. And you haven't met her yet? Of course, not, not yet. So that would have been Lloyd Bridges. Yes. Okay, Lloyd Bridges is <coughs> one, and the and the more recent one is what is her name? Is it Winona Ryder? Who? Winona Ryder. Yes, that's it. Then are you sure? Sure. Okay. Yeah. You guys just want some Eskimo pies. Back in the 50s, it started in a bar, and then it became a very big event. It went national, then global, and it put Petaluma on the map for a good 40, 50 years. Not egg and butter. Uh, well, that did too, but this <laughs> and is... And it's now a 420 as well. <laughs> uh, no, it's not 420. It's a sporting event. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. Nash uh, pillow. Pillow fighting. Pillow fighting. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I was thinking arm wrestling too. Pillow fight. I did not know <laughs> Petaluma was known for pillow fighting. I know. What? What's that? I don't know what to say. Like, when, with the hands yes. that they're taking down. Yes. Okay. The only thing I would think of is the wrestling, arm wrestling. And you would be right. <laughs> Started in a bar in the 50s, and then became a national, and then a global event. Wrestling. Wrestling. What is it? Wrestling. wrestling. Yes. Did you guys participate? No. No. I remember as a kid watching it well. It was the uh, arm wrestling championships on Wild World of Sports back in the 60s and 70s. Good stuff. Also, a big shout out to our former sports director, Mark Gibanias, a proud grad of Petaluma High back in 1973. We miss you, Mark. I'm going to go boogie to this music a little bit. We're going to meet the band, Spike and his awesome hotcakes. Gossip. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs>